It all started in 1998. I needed to do a research for one of my courses in college about uh, techniques of communication. See, I wanted to, to get to the bottom of how human communication takes place. Uh, so I went to visit a center that works with hearing impaired children to see how you can communicate when you can't actually talk. Well, that was the start of an experience that changed my life. I did my interviews with administrators, teachers, and met several kids. And then I got so blown away uh, by what I saw that I decided to even volunteer at the center. And I acted as a teacher for the hearing impaired children. I learned the sign language. Okay, some do this and some do that. And, uh, but, and unlike what some of you might uh, think, sign language differ from country to country and even in the same country. And with children, they sometimes develop their own signs and their own language. So for example, my name is Samer. So let's say Samer, this is the Latin uh, alphabet. And there's something like Samer in Arabic. Uh, but for the kids, uh, they called me this. So I guess I had, okay, so uh, how are you? Something like that. See. One of the things, or let's say the shocking discoveries that I learned, was about being mute. You know, when you and an individual cannot talk, or incapable of talking. You see, not all of the mute individuals are actually physically or biologically incapable of talking. It's just that some of them were born with by hearing impaired, uh, that they don't know how to, okay? So they need therapy, speech, I mean, even when they can hear a little and then they put this device, that does not automatically solve the problem, but actually they still need therapy to understand what's happening, okay? So that experience shaped my life. Years after that, I carried this cause in my heart and I was looking for ways that I could help those children and more children like them across the world. So uh, years passed by. I moved from a college student to a professional, then to a senior executive, an international author and public speaker. Uh, so I came up with the idea of donating one of my intellectual property to that cause. And I called it a white cause. White cause, okay? So the idea is to donate a product that could generate a revenue, like it could be sold and generate money. And all the profits generated will go towards that white cause. So at some point, it will be a self-sustained uh, initiative where that product sold, get money, the money will go redirected to that, um, to that cause. Okay, so 2013, I started uh, the 7 Minutes Motivation Podcast. It's an Arabic motivational podcast of 7 minutes with every episode on a weekly basis, starting like every Monday. And uh, after that, like it, this was free for everybody and I got like uh, more than 60,000 uh, people to, to, to download and listen to, uh, to that and get motivated, get inspired, get aspired by, by it. And I received lots of great feedback about it over years. And later on, I created the book, the uh, seven minutes motivation book. Okay, it's, now it's an English book. And uh, so, now I decided that this book, I want to donate it and all the profits of this book will be donated to the white cause, which is supporting the hearing impaired children. So today I hear you, that's a campaign that aims at uh, constructing a fund that would go towards speech therapy, speech therapy sessions for children who can't afford it. Now, you see a child would need two to three sessions per week for a period of one to two years so they can be able to, to communicate properly. Okay, and the session costs around something like $20. So overall, that's like a significant amount of money for some families that would be struggling to secure the necessities in a country like Lebanon, for example. So the main objective of the campaign today, I hear you, okay, and I hear you from, I hear you and I feel what you're seeing, but I hear you, is to gather, to collect a fund uh, 
to secure 1,000 speech therapy sessions and then distribute them to different centers in Lebanon. And uh, these sessions would be offered to children in need. Um, so you can support by donating something like $3, $10, $25, and in return, you'll get a free copy of my book, Seven Minutes Motivation, either paperback or uh, electronic copy or uh, audio edition. So I encourage you to go to IHearYou.today. Check out the website, see how you can contribute and support. Thank you very much. We are Tikkun Alpha